gonna have to r fucking run, aren't I? Early career employees that we refer to, which are those who joined the company post COVID, but early in their career. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Uh, it's gonna be something like that, isn't it? You can absolutely just leg it, but I feel like I'm gonna get shot by the gun. Um, but basically, we did the first few sigils, and we then got introduced by. I mean, he's calling himself Elohim, so he's a god. Um, and there's like seven different areas that we need to get all the sigils from before we can do something. But we're not we're not allowed to go to the big tower. So obviously we're going to go to the big tower. I don't think it's on. Is it? Are you on? It's not on. Okay. Um. Come this way. Okay. Right. Excellent. Excellent. It won't come this way. So how do I get it out of the way? It won't move, will it? No. I don't think I can do this. I don't really know how I can do this. It confuses me. It's almost like I have to die before I do something else. Ah. That's the suicide mission part. I got it now. Okay. Oh, no, wait, what? Ah. Okay. Then press it. Then remove the jammer. Then do that. Shoot it. Are you going to shoot it? No. It worked. It fucking worked. Hey. Doc, hello. So far, yeah, very much so. I'm very intrigued to see where this game goes. Should have thought I needed to use the gun to kill the thing. Silly me. Hope you're well. Hope you had a nice weekend. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, yes, just a reminder. No, um, please no back seats or spoils with this. Just enjoy watching my brain whir. And uh, if I am gonna, if I am struggling, I will say papaya. And whether you've played the game or not, I mean, if you haven't played the game, it might be better for those of you who haven't yet to suggest some solutions. And then those of you who have, if we're really stuck, um, then you, you can sort of help. But yeah, that might be the way we do it. Hall of Windows. Right, what we got. So we can't put that through there. So that's going to need to... Oh. Oh, no. Stomach flu. Oh, no. That does not sound good. Um... Is there another one? Um, mine was busy. Um, I went, uh, so I have a season ticket for my local football team, Oxford United. Uh, they had a 2-2 draw. It was very dramatic. Uh, then watched the Rugby World Cup final. And then Sunday, our friends, uh, their baby was one year old. Well, it's, it's one year old tomorrow, but they had, the part, had a little party yesterday, so... Bit weird going to a child's birthday party but you know you go for your friend's sake rather than for the baby <laughs> um so i've got to find a way to get through that
Wherever the keys, Mrs. Weird Papaya. Yeah. Now. No, that's not going to work, is it? Still can't get through. Oh, what? Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Come on, brain. You can do this. Come on, brain. Is there another one? There isn't, is there? Okay. We've got to try and figure this out. Is there a direct line of sight? No. There is a direct line of sight through from the other one. But if I don't pick this up... I can't get through there. How do I unlock three doors with two jammers? Oh, fuck. See, I feel like that one, that one needs to be doing that one. And this one needs to be doing the, the far one. But then I can't get through. So there's something I'm missing. These one, these go to 11. These, these go to 11. Ah, fuck. I've got it. Right. Got it. Yes. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so satisfying. So satisfying. Nice. Okay. Another one done. Wait, weren't there two? Weren't there two this way? Oh, no, just the one. Uh, ah, over here. In here. Might just do a little explore. Just, you know, see if I'm missing anything interesting. Gonna have to look. This screen is too fast. I'm sorry, Crimson. I know it's gonna... Ooh. Have an effect on some people for motion. I'm, I did try and turn everything off, like the view bobbing and motion blur, but I do appreciate, you know doesn't doesn't help i'm trying not to move too fast but yeah i'm trying to move it fairly smoothly if i can shit can't necessarily always do that it, it would seem i have to run uh fuck you Alright, kind of, kind of got away. Oh god! Oh no! <laughs> Gotta do it again now. The guards must be crazy. Right, I tell you what. Before we do any more, though, uh, we have been live for over two hours, and I haven't had a break yet, so we are going to take a break now. Okay, that was better. Right, is that? Oh, that's the op is that the options menu? Ah, view achievements. Ah, that's what it is. No frame drops. Woo woo. Simplex. Hello there. Shit. <laughs> I didn't pick it up. I'm guessing that's the, the best way to do it. That's kind of my my thinking here. Okay, wait. All right. Whew. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. Out you come. Boom. Ah, crap. 
No. No, I need the other one. Shit. How am I going to do this one? Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on. Keep going. All right. That one. All right. Now we hide. <laughs> it's scary. Quite scary. Where's it gone? Oh, it's gone all the way in there. Oh, of course it has. Bugger. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. The jam is in the way. Maybe now it'll be a better. All right. Get the... Why do I get the feeling we're going to need... Oh, no, we're not. Woo! A. We completed A. Uh, is that everywhere here then? On this... Uh, this one? There was also the star, but I... Actually, hang on a minute. Can I now? Oh, no, you can't go through the thing. I think I need to unlock the, the one first before I can uh, get the star thing that was on this island. So, yeah, let's get out of here. The Fonz's favorite one, yeah. Hey, anyone want to come be your secretary for a bit? I forgot that office keyboard was flat and it doesn't, doesn't like long nails. Oh no, need some sort of dictation software. Some uh, Richard Potato software. So, there isn't a zoom button, is there? No. Very pretty, though, this game, isn't it? Do I need the crosshair? I'm just wondering. I might leave it on. Right. I think we're going to go back. I think we've got... I think we got them all here, yeah. Pretty sure. So. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Notification. Aha! Part two of the certification program has now been generated. Part two has been designed to test the consistency of some of your outlier responses in the previous round. You will be presented with a series of statements. Please indicate your agreement where appropriate. Oh, fuck. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Can I? There we go. Let's do it again, shall we? Since all human beings are persons and some human beings that have psychological capabilities similar to animals, some animals are therefore persons. No. Person is under no authority other than that to which they consent. Well, ideally, yes. The quality of life of persons ought to be maximized. Absolutely. Value is discovered. Uh, no. Persons deserve the talents they were born into? Well, that's... What does that mean? I mean, yes, but only if they use them. It's up to them whether they use them. They deserve the success if they decide to hone their talents. See what I mean? The liberty of persons ought to be maximized. Absolutely. Value is created. What did I answer before? I can't remember now. Can't remember now. Trunks, thanks for hanging out. Have a great rest of your Monday. More of this tomorrow and Thursday. We'll see how far through we can get. Sequel being... Uh, released on Thursday. Right, yes, that's now gone. Okay. Uh, let's 
see what happens when we unlock this. Easy. Is there a B or what? Oh, oh. You have proven yourself worthy, child. Yay. This gate shall be forever open to you. Yay. Seek now the other worlds I have given you, that you may attain even greater mastery and bring glory to your kind. But what am but I? Remember, you must not ascend the great tower, for it shall bring death and the end of your generations. Okay. If you say so. There's a computer somewhere. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Interesting. That being the great... Holy fuck, tower. <laughs> That's big, isn't it? C. There's A, B, and C. Wow, okay. So there's oh, it's quite a big game then. Damn. A fuck tower. <laughs> Athena 12. Council of Zeus. I wonder if these numbers are going to mean anything. Probably not. The great bronze bulls pulled the carriage forward. Mighty bursts of steam issuing from their nostrils. Finally, they came to the gates at the top of... I don't know what, what's that's part of, but... Dr. Armin Hulock, the fall of the Roman um, Empire. Interesting as such perspectives of the decline and ultimate dissolution of the Roman Empire may be... They ultimately put too much emphasis on individual catastrophic events. The real question must be asked is why the Roman Empire, which had dealt with so many threats and catastrophes over the years, was so incapable of responding to these later problems. We must investigate the division of wealth, the structure of government, the location of power in Roman society. Had the Republic survived or been restored, would Rome have still fallen? What was the role of debt and slavery in creating the conditions for what we now call the Dark Ages? Rome, the saying goes, was not built in a day. It didn't fall in a day either. Interesting. Isn't that, that whole meme thing going on at the moment about men thinking about the Roman Empire? I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, can we just... Can I... of space repeat in the beginning were the words and the yeah okay interesting right so we're in tower a let's just check out tower b so we're not supposed to go in here not yet anyway that was very stat that was the the end is never the end is never the end is never the end aha okay Oxyrhynchus. The Oxyrhynchus papyri, papyri. While the Library of Alexandria burned at the hands of fanatics and conquerors, depriving us of unimaginable insights into history, philosophy, and art, the papers carelessly thrown away by the citizens of Oxyrhynchus survived to the modern day. And though it is true that a great deal of what we know today is because of the conscious efforts of individual and organizations, such as the spectacular translation and preservation work during done done during the Islamic Golden Age. So much more is simply the result of coincidence and luck. Hmm. More than glittering emo vampires and auto-tuned teen pop stars, we have to... <laughs> okay. Interesting, that was the wrong button. Keep pressing escape. The Book of the Scribe of Osiris is an ancient Egyptian text discovered there. Yeah, okay, so what... 
Describe describes how a man's life force will become separated from his personality and how we have to reunite the two and become oh. passing a series of trials to reach paradise hmm there's a lot of this which is sort of i'm getting you know a lot of foreshadowing or chekhov's gun type stuff here <laughs> well we may as well see what we need these are all red ones okay Heaven. Check off sex tower. <laughs> the mind is its own place and in itself can make a heaven of hell a hell of heaven. Mm, that's true. Yeah, we'll definitely uh, read a lot more into it. What matter where if I be still the same and what should I be all but less than he... I don't know this po I'm guessing that is a poem. William Blake. The ancient tradition that the world will be consumed in fire at the end of 6,000 years is true, as I have heard from hell. For the cherub with its flaming sword is hereby commanded to leave his guard at the tree of life, and when he does, the whole of creation will be consumed and appear infinite and holy, whereas now it appears finite and corrupt. This will come to pass by an improvement of sensual enjoyment. Oh my. But first, the notion that man has a body distinct from his soul is to be expunged. This I shall do by printing in the infernal method by corrosives, which in hell are salutary and medicinal, melting apparent services away and displaying the infinite, which was hid. Hmm, a lot of philosophical debate, concept of the soul, heaven and hell. Hmm. Interesting. Well... I'm going to keep doing A then, because I have to. Uh, but is there anything else here? Mm, doesn't look like it. Okay. All right, then. Down we go. Most intriguing. Hey, folks. What are we? I don't know, but we've just got to get all these Tetris pieces. That's for sure. Ow. To number three. Oh. More stuff. AI feedback. We are weirdos. We are legion. We keep discussing what an artificial intelligence would mean to us and how it would change our understanding of the world. That's a great topic, and I think we've covered it extensively. What we've barely mentioned, though, is the other side of the coin. I mean, our lives would still be what they were before, AI or no AI. The question I think we should discuss, even if it's all completely hypothetical, is the perspective of the artificial intelligence itself. What would it be like to be that creature? To suddenly come into being, created by others as an experiment? To have all the information about yourself, to know exactly how you function, what would you think about the world? How would you see meaning, beauty? How would you judge humanity? Where would you see yourself fitting into the grand scheme of things? I think we should try to put ourselves into the shoes of such a being. Dear Alexandra, thank you for your feedback, but this is a philosophy course, not science fiction. <laughs> and that's why I almost gave up on my studies. Mm, team leads. We're blessed to have so many people contributing to this project, but we've got to make sure everyone's on the same page. Uh, Alexandra Drennan, Project Lead AI Module. Nadia Sarabar, we've ha she's been mentioned. Institute Coordinator. EL Software, EL Hardware. Diagnostic. Are there any other names we've seen? I don't think so. Talos Unit 4... Formerly Soma? Wait. Is this in the same universe as Soma? No. Not that Soma, surely. Though not directly part of our project, the archive team is sharing both physical and digital space with us. If there are any technical issues to resolve, please contact their project lead, Arkady Chernyshevsky. Don't worry, he's nice. It's, it is kind of a horror game, but not. 
at the same time, I just found it incredibly creepy. I just want to look up Soma now. I just want to see when it came out. Uh, 2015. Interesting. 